Hey everybody, it's time to sit down and put your feet up. It's time for another episode of Bob TV. <laughs> Told you I was going to make y'all some videos tonight. I'm going to make y'all stay up all night long right here with me. <laughs> okay, now what I'm doing is on them vertical surfaces. I'm going ahead and uh, I'm putting some heavy cloth on there. You see, this is where most people have the trouble with molds. It's vertical surfaces like this. Because if you just want to start taking your fiberglass and trying to wrap it around that edge, you'll end that it wants to lift off, you know. But kind of the way I'm doing this, it won't. See, I put that light cloth on there first. That's going to stick. That's going to there ain't going. That's going to stop the air bubbles. Now we just need to kind of stiffen that up. What I'm doing is I'm taking that heavy cloth. And I'm actually cutting it to size. Okay. This is that 40 ounce stuff. And we just take our actual part here and a pencil. This is my hatch, my engine hatch. I just want to go ahead and mark this whole thing. I'm going to put two layers on it. And then see now I've got that vertical surface built up so high when I start laying my cloth over I can just wrap it and uh, it don't matter if it's got a little void in it because we'll have enough cloth going up and down to where it ain't going to need it and I'm just going to go right most of this is going to cut off. I'm just going to go right across it. Like, see you. You guys watching? I'm drifting off again. Oh, Ed. Ed put up on a comment that we make his day, man. That's a nice thing to say there, Ed. You know most Eds, you know they ever, you guys ever notice that people fit their names, you know what I mean, like a Roger just looks like a Roger, Eds look like Eds, <laughs> you know what I mean, Bobs look like Bobs, you know, but uh, Eds has always been some of the nicest people I've ever met, and we'll stick it in there kind of get a feel for if it's too big or not, it's still too big. Now this resin is still wet from that last coat. A little big through here. And we just kind of want this to fit perfect. Then I'll get, I'll paint me some resin on here and then put on that other half too. So we already got our cloth built. Now, when this, uh, I'm going to wait till this resin gets tacky and I can start throwing my cloth on here. These wraps ain't so critical, you know. Well, that's why that was way too big, I think. And I'll slop some resin on these, get them saturated, and go ahead and put down that other layer I got cut out for them. And uh, these hatch areas would be good to go. Because we want them to keep their shape. We don't want nothing flexing in there either. You know? I'll just take that. Fold it in half, see we gotta kinda remove the what well, you know away from center because we got some build up and all that right there, so that's why I 
I'm not just clipping it in the middle. I'm going to cut that one way too short. Bam! Bam! Two minutes. I got to mix up some resin. Put on some gloves and mix up, mix up some resin. So soaks up quite a bit. Let's just mix up 200 grams right quick. Beautiful. This piece down. Get some up here on this corner. We're good to go. That edge really good. Put it right there. Take the shorter one. Put it right there. Beautiful. But these vertical surfaces, that's what always kind of stumped me, you know, that's always where I had my issues. You know, and you just kind of, after you do a few, you learn how to avoid them issues. I guess would be a good way to put it. You know, so, just trying to pass it along to my fellow modelers. Oh, we're out of time. We'll see you guys back in the shop a little later. All right.